yogis, it's Sina here, the Yoga Apothecary. In today's flow, we continue our A to Z for well-being series. I stands for intention. So grab your towel and some water and I'll meet you on the mat. As we get started today, I invite you to contemplate for a moment these lyrics from the song, Follow the Sun by Xavier Rudd. Follow, follow the sun, and which way the wind blows when this day is done. Breathe, breathe in the air, set your intentions, dream with care. One small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Our words have power. They have the power to change our mood and our mindset. The ways we communicate with ourselves, the inner voice has the power to shape our lives. Setting an intention is more than passively thinking about a goal. Think of an intention as a focal point, something that you want to structure your day around. Before the day begins, ask yourself what you want. Think about it and visualize it. When we identify our intentions, think about them, or better yet, speak them out or write them down, they have the power to become reality. The more we practice intention setting, the stronger this muscle grows. Setting and living your intentions allows you to focus on who you are in the moment, to recognize and live your values, and to raise your emotional energy, which in turn raises your physical energy. In yoga, we often pause, setting an intention for the practice early in the sequence. Many people find it helpful to formulate a mantra or affirmation that they repeat throughout the practice. For example, you might think and repeat to yourself, I seek to understand and learn from my life experience, or I will let go of the past and forgive myself and others. So today I invite you to set your intention something that will motivate you as you practice on your mat. And with that, we'll get started in child's pose. I will meet you at the top of your mat and you may wanna have blocks available for this practice. As we begin in a child's pose, knees come wide, toes touch, arms long on the mat in front of you. Coming into this sacred space, this time for you and your practice. Start to turn your attention to the body as we do often in our practice together and notice the points of the body touching the earth, beginning with your fingertips, coming up the arms through the elbows, heart space coming closer to the earth, knees, shins, and toes, rooting down. And notice the quality of your breath. Simply notice your inhale and exhale. As we begin now to lengthen our breath, you'll inhale through the nose, fill up, spread the ribs, take in all the air you think you can, and then when you're ready, exhale it out. Another just like that. Inhale through the nose, fill up, spread your ribs, send the breath down to the toes, and open the mouth, maybe it's audible. As we begin our ujjayi breath, our victorious breath, you'll inhale through the nose, seal the lips, exhale through your nose, creating a seashelly swirly sound in the back of your throat, like you're fogging up a mirror. We'll take this together, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Know that this child's pose, balasana, is always available to you at any time in this practice. I am here as your guide on the side. On your next inhale, start to hover your head off your mat. Extend the arms long in front of you. Lengthen your spine, really sink those hips back, press the tops of the feet into the earth. Maybe a soft rock of your head from side to side. Coming back to center. 
Lower the forearms, maybe narrow the knees slightly as we move to a child's pose forearm stretch. Leave the left forearm rooted. Position the right palm to the left corner of the mat. Sink your hips back. Really opening up the right side body, right shoulder, obliques, torso. On your next inhale, we'll switch sides, planting the right forearm, left fingertips come to the right corner of the mat, sink the hips back, hips stacked over the knees. Coming back through center, we'll exhale to our puppy pose. Now the heart space in the chest, maybe the chin or forehead reaches the earth. Leaving the hips stacked above the knees, breathe. One more breath in. As we exhale, we'll come back up where we were. From here, we're gonna to move to an antler pose, something you may not have done before in your practice. So extend this right arm long. Cactus your left arm. So as we cactus this left arm, take an inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna open our torso to the left. We come back through center for the other side. Now I'm extending my left, cactusing my right. Take a breath through center. As you exhale, we'll open up to our right. Coming back through center, replanting the palms, pressing our way up to our tabletop pose, stacking knees under hips, wrists come under the shoulders, neutral spine flat back, crown is long. Press the tops of the feet into the earth. You'll inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, open the heart space, gaze to the clouds. Exhale, cat pose, create a C shape with the spine, relax the head and shoulders, press the mat away, press the tops of the feet into the earth. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, open the heart space, gaze to the clouds, soft bend the elbows. Exhale, cat pose, create a C shape with the spine, relax the head and shoulders, press the mat away with the fingers, maybe you suction cup the hands, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Inhale, cow, invitation as you exhale for cat that you'll hover the knees ever so slightly off of the mat as if a credit card could fit underneath them. So as you exhale to cat, hovering the knees. Press the mat away. Inhale, lower. Cow pose. One more, hovering the knees as you exhale, cat. Coming back to tabletop pose. Stacking the wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips, neutral spine, flat back. From here, we're going to extend your right foot back and our left foot back, meet in plank pose. You're welcome to take this on your knees and not take what I'm about to take if this is not something you can do in your practice. So from here, we're gonna push the mat away, lift the right toes, place it on the back of the left heel, lengthen through the spine, breathe. Exhale, release for the other side. Left toes come on the back of the right heel, leave those Hips square to the front of the room. Breath in. Exhale, plant the foot back to plank. And exhale to our first downward dog of the practice. Start to pedal our dog. Press the hands into the earth. Spread the fingers wide. Pressing through the thumb and the first finger. Offer your heart space closer to your thighs. Ears line up with the biceps. Come to a still down dog. Imagine dragging the mat behind you with your feet and spreading the feet to the edges of the mat. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees in bear pose. Offer your heart space closer to your thighs. Rise up on the balls of the toes, breath in. As you exhale, we come back to plank. From here, this can be done on your knees or toes, or you have an invitation to press into the right palm. We meet in a side plank, offering your hip points up with your breath out. Left hand reaches, breath in. 
we exhale back to plank for the other side. Now planting through the left palm, right hand reaches high, pulling the hip points up, breath in. You'll exhale back to plank, hold here for one more breath. And as you exhale, down dog. Take a falling out breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look at your feet. Walk your hands to the back of our mat for a ragdoll forward fold. Relaxing head and shoulders, feet or hips distance apart. Say yes to this practice. Yes to having an intention for your practice. You can interlace hugging your elbows. You can graze your fingertips. Take anything you need that feels good. You're welcome to soft bend your knees, placing your hands on your heels, or maybe they interlace and come above your head. Swaying, breathing. Slowly begin to bring your big toes to touch. Leave a sliver of light between your heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the shins, shoulders at the height of the hips. Gaze over the nose, neutral spine, flat back. Exhale, fold. Another just like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the shins, shoulders at the height of the hips. Gaze over the nose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Dig through those heels. Arms come up. Squeeze the glutes and thighs as if a block came between your thighs. Knit your low ribs together. Palms face one another. Shoulder, blade, shoulder blades pulled down. As you exhale, Samastiti, he bring your hands to heart center. Set your intention for this practice. As we always do in our practice, maybe a soft gaze, maybe you shut your eyes for just a moment. Breathe. Notice the weight distribution in your feet. Maybe you shift forward, back, side to side, lift all 10 toes, and then replant them on the earth. As we open our eyes, look forward, we'll travel our way to the top of our mat, taking a figure four stretch. So plant the three corners of this left foot, release the hands, you'll lift your right knee and hold your ankle and shin, opening it up as if in a figure four stretch, pose. Plant this right foot, take a step forward, repeat this on the other side. So helping to open up the hips, the hamstrings, making our way to the top of our mat. I will meet you there. Take it as slow as you need to go. When we make it to the top of our mat, we'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, cactus them wide. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, we'll take a cactus twist over to the right, leaving the hip points rooted to the front of your mat. Inhale, center. As you exhale, we'll cactus twist to the left, leaving the hip points rooted to the front of the mat. We inhale, center, and exhale, forward fold, neutral spine, flat back. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, bend the knees. We'll step back to plank. Always our first opportunity for cobra. Shift forward, bring the knees, thighs, chest, belly to the earth. Take an inhale to prepare, hands stay rooted under the ribs or you're welcome to tent them outside the top corner of your mat. So take an inhale to prepare, exhale baby cobra. Peel your heart space up, roll the shoulder blades back. Draw your hands to the back of the mat, sternum comes forward. Exhale, release. Take an inhale and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, walk, step, make your way to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Shoulders at the height of the hips, neutral spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Upward salute. 
palms face one another, knit the low ribs together, pull the navel to the spine. Exhale, cactus wide. Take an inhale here. Exhale, we twist. Hip points stay rooted forward. We come through center on the inhale. Exhale, we cactus to the left. Inhale, we come through center. And exhale, we forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms. Bend the knees. Step back to plank. Our first opportunity for a chaturanga. You're also welcome to take another cobra. And the chaturanga can be on knees or toes. So inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale through our upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. When you're taking your chaturanga or your vinyasa, always make sure that the shoulders stay above your elbows, hugging the elbows close to your side body. Sternum and heart space comes forward. You imagine the hands moving to the back of our mat. Take another falling out breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. <sighs> Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Down to the right wrist. Up to the elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Pause and lower your left knee and toes. Take a moment to find center. Hands can come to the thigh and pause. Dig and drag your right heel to the back of the mat and tuck the left knee coming forward. When you're ready, Anjani Asana. Arms come up. Right hip back, left hip forward, knit the low ribs together, palms face one another. As we exhale, we'll cactus the arms. Take a breath in. One more exhale. We're going to twist just to our right side. Inhale, we come through center. Exhale, time for the half split. We take this often in class. Dig and drag the right heel to the back of the mat. Try and take the arch from the back. Hands can come to heart center or you're welcome to use blocks, which we'll use for some playtime in class. But you're welcome to grab them now. Inhale, we'll come through center. Plant the left palm. We take a twist. Right hand reaches high. Dig through the big toe mound of this right foot. You're welcome to stay low or an invitation to come now to your twist high, lifting the left knee and toes. Again, notice the weight distribution here. One more breath in. As you exhale, this is gonna be a different type of transition we're gonna meet in goddess pose. So taking a moment to spin the arms up, we open up, meet in a goddess pose. So heels come in, toes point out, knees widen to a squat. Staying here, maybe the hands come to heart center. Maybe you genie the arms, or we can take another opportunity to cactus our arms wide. Elbows at the height of the shoulders. Finding some dynamic movement for our cycle of breath. Then when you're ready, we'll inhale, open up star. Exhale, hands to the hips. One more breath in. We exhale to our wide leg forward fold. Pause here. Take a moment to position the hands anywhere they need to be in order to deepen your stretch. So maybe that means they're right on your feet, forward on your mat, maybe behind you, a full cycle of breath. When you're ready, we start to walk the fingertips to the top of our mat, plant the palms. Of course, the right foot comes back to plank. You have options of a chaturanga, a cobra, or maybe you wish to take a locust pose and we'll meet in downward dog. As we come to the other side, 
Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, left knee to left elbow, down to the wrist, back to the elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, we step the left foot in between your hands, lower your right knee and toes. Take a moment to find center. Maybe the hands come to the thigh. Drawing this left heel back and tucking the right knee forward. So left hip draw, draws back, right hip pulls forward. When you're ready, Anjani Asana. Palms face one another. We pull the shoulder blades down the back. Breath in. And as you exhale, we'll cactus the arms wide. Take another inhale. We exhale to the twist just to the left side. We come back through center. And then we plant our palms and sink back for a half split. Now on the left side. Left toes are towards the nose. Tent or fingertip the palms to try and take the arch out of the back or bring your hands to heart center or to the blocks if you took it on the other side. Breathe. Inhale, come forward. We plant the right palm, opening up for our twist. Left hand reaches for the clouds. Pause here. You're welcome to stay low if you took that on the other side. Or we lift the right knee and toes, still on the twist, as we'll open up and meet in goddess pose. So starting to windmill the arms up, opening up to our goddess pose. Heels come in, toes go out, knees widen. Same options with your hands. You can bring them to heart center. Genie on the opposite arm if you took it on the other side or cactus the arms wide, trying to take the arch from the back, find some movement here. One more breath in, you'll inhale star, exhale hands to the hips, breathe, and then exhale wide-legged forward fold. Palms come to the mat, same options you can take with your hands to deepen the stretch. You'll breathe here for a full cycle of breath, When you're ready, start to plant those palms, walk the fingertips to the top of our mat. We'll step back to plank and move through your options. And meet in downward dog. Amazing. Yes, yogis. Come to your knees, your toes. Tabletop pose, sit back on the heels. You're welcome to grab some water and towel off, and then I'll meet you back in Downward Dog. As we come to Downward Dog, inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot in between our hands, spin our back heel. We'll windmill the arms up to our first Warrior Two pose. Right knee over right ankle. Root through the pinky edge of this left foot. Squeeze glutes and thighs. Imagine they could touch. Stack your skull, shoulders, core, and hips. One line of energy. We gaze over the right fingertips. Flip this right palm up and over. Inhale, reverse our warrior. Right arm reaches up and over. Left arm can come to your low back. Keep a good warrior two leg, right knee over right ankle. As we exhale, we start to tee the arms, start to straighten this front leg. We meet with our exhale triangle pose. Right fingertips can be coming to the earth, maybe a block if you need that. Shin or thigh, stacking the shoulders, left hand reaches high, breath in. As we exhale, we'll bring the arms forward, spin our back heel, and then inhale, we'll meet in a crescent lunge. So right knee over right ankle, root through the left leg long, maybe up on the balls of the left toes. Pause here, knit the low ribs together, palms face one another, shoulder blades pull down the back. 
As we exhale, pause and bring the hands at heart center. One more inhale. And as we exhale, we'll come to a prayer crescent. So the left elbow is going to come outside the right thigh or knee, leaving hands at heart center, lengthening through the spine, crown is long. Try not to collapse on the thigh. One more breath in. As you exhale, plant both palms inside this right foot. Start to walk the right foot out. You're welcome to stay high or for a full runner's lunge, drop the left knee, opening up the hip. You're also welcome to come to your forearms if you want to deepen your runner's lunge or stay high as I am today. Breathe into this space. Start to walk this right foot in. We'll lift the left knee and toes. Step back to plank pose. From here, we have an invitation to come to a forearm side plank. If this is not for you, go to a tabletop, a different variation of side plank, lowering your knee, perhaps to the mat. But if you wish to join me, we're coming to the right forearm, shifting the weight over, as we meet in a forearm side plank, stacking the feet, reaching the arm up, pulling the hip points up. One more breath in. You'll exhale, come back, press your way up to tabletop and move through your options. We meet in downward dog. Take a falling out breath. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Spin the back heel, windmill the arms up to our warrior two pose. Now the left knee comes over the left ankle. Root through the pinky edge of this right foot. Stacking, squeezing glutes and thighs as if they could touch. And stacking the skull all the way down through the hips. One line of energy. We gaze over the left fingertips. Flip the left palm up and over. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm can come to the low back. Spreading ribs on this left side body. As we exhale, we start to tee the arms, straightening the front leg or soft bend the knee. As we meet in a triangle pose, now the left fingertips are in the earth shin or thigh on the left leg, resisting the leg and arm, stacking the shoulders, reaching high. From here, we bring the arms forward and spin this back heel. We meet in a crescent lunge. You may need to readjust your back foot. Dig and drag this left heel to the back of the mat and tuck the right knee coming forward. Palms face of one another, shoulder blades pulling down the back. One breath in, bring the hands to heart center, pause. As we exhale, we meet in a prayer crescent. So the right elbows coming outside the left knee or thigh. Crown is long, spine is long. Trying not to collapse on the thigh, breathe. And as we exhale, we'll plant the hands inside the left foot, start to walk it to the edge of the mat. You're welcome to lower the right knee and toes if we took that on the other side. A few cycles of breath here. And if you came to your forearms, take that again. Breathe. When you're ready, we'll start to walk the left foot back in, replant the left hand, lift your right knee and toes. We'll step back to plank and pause with an invitation for a side plank forearm on the left side, stacking the feet. Maybe you treed your leg or float your leg if you took that on the other side. 
pulling the hip points up as you exhale. One more inhale. Well, exhale back, either to the forearm plank or straight into your plank and move through your options. We'll meet in downward dog. Taking an opportunity for another falling out breath. Yes, yogis. Inhale. Exhale it out. <sighs> Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, walk, step, or a soft hop to the top of our mat. Inhale, chair pose. Toes touch, heels, shins, knees, thighs. Squeezing towards center. Sinking the weight back on the heels, two legs become one. You can leave your hands at heart center or reach the arms above the head, yogi's choice. Root through the three corners of the left foot, we start to rise. Right knee comes towards the chest, foot is flexed. And we'll exhale, figure four pose. Staying high as you need to be, or maybe you come a little lower. Finding stability with your exhale. Maybe the elbows come to the shins. Breathe. When you're ready, you'll inhale it back up. As you exhale, we'll take a dancing shiver. Right arm's gonna reach back. Left hand comes outside the right knee. Make it resist on the arm on the hand, reaching those fingers, gaze can be forward. From here, we'll hum back to heart center. Inhale, release the arms. Exhale, we come to crescent. Pause here in our crescent lunge. One more breath in. Exhale, the palms to the mat. Step the left leg back to plank. Exhale, lower to the earth. Pause here for a Superman stretch. So the arms are gonna come long in front of you. And then from here, we're going to hover off of the mat, hovering our feet and arms forward for a total of a count of 10. So take a breath in to prepare. Exhale, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower. Slide the palms under the shoulders and pause. You're welcome to rest a cheek on the mat. Windshield wiper your feet towards center. Return the feet. Press your way up to a tabletop pose on your way to a downward dog. You're welcome to always shake a child's pose if you need to. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Make your way to the top of your mat. We inhale back to chair pose, pause here. Sinking back on those heels. We start to rise, left knee comes up, foot is flexed. We meet in a figure four, externally rotating this left thigh. Maybe you come high or low. Take what you did on the other side. Inhale when you're ready, bring the knee back up. Extend the left arm. We reach for the right knee. Resist the hand onto the leg. Take a breath in. Release the arms. We step back and meet in our crescent lunge. Pause here. We exhale to the lunge. We step the right leg back to plank. Pause. Exhale, we come down. Same opportunity for Superman. For a count of 10, take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Palms come under the shoulders, opposite cheek to the mat, windshield wiper the feet.
From here, we'll press our way up to a tabletop pose, sit back on your heels. Another opportunity to grab some water and towel off. We're gonna put these two flows together. And I'll meet you back on the mat. So as we come back to the mat, we're gonna put these two flows together as I've said, going a little bit faster, one breath, one movement. And then we'll come down on our mat to play with floating lotus. And then we'll cool it down. So let's come to our downward dog. Here we go. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. As you exhale, step the right foot in between your hands, spin your heel, come up to our warrior two pose. Inhale, reverse our warrior. As we exhale, triangle pose, pause here. Take a breath in, arms come forward. We'll spin our way to our crescent lunge. Pause here, crescent. Exhale, we meet in our prayer crescent. Breathe into this space. And as you exhale, making our transition to a chair pose. So you shift your weight, bend this left knee, come into chair, prayer chair, then bring the hands to heart center. We start to rise, bring this right knee back up, foot is flexed. We exhale, figure four. Maybe you come lower. Inhale, we start to rise. We exhale to a dancing shiver. Breathe. Arms come back up through center. We meet back in a crescent lunge. Pause. We exhale coming down to the mat. Step the left leg back to plank. From here, we're gonna come back to that forearm variation of side plank. So coming down on the right, pushing up on our forearm side plank, taking what you did the other time. We exhale back to plank, pressing our way up. Breathe, move through your options. and meet in downward dog. Take a falling out breath as we come to the other side. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, step the left foot. We meet in our warrior two. Windmill the arms up. Inhale, reverse our warrior. We exhale, triangle pose. Welcome to soft bend this front leg. Arms come forward, bend the knee, spin the back heel. We rise to crescent. We exhale to our prayer crescent. Pause here. Breathe, soft bend the right knee, give yourself a push. Come up to prayer crescent and pause. Now we come to chair at the center. Take an inhale and exhale. As you exhale next, we rise up. Left knee to the chest, foot is flex. We exhale to figure four pose. Pause here. Breathe. Start to rise. Dancing shiver. Resist the arm to knee. Arms loosen, rise. We come back to crescent, pause here in our crescent. We exhale the hands to the earth. We step back to plank with an invitation for a forearm side plank now on the left side. Stacking the feet, lifting your hip points up, and then exhale when you're ready. We come back, pressing up to plank and move through your options. We come back to downward dog, come to tabletop, sink back on your heels, grab some water, towel off so we can play 
with floating lotus. So if you want to play with floating lotus, this is where blocks can come in handy. I'm going to show you some op an option you can use blocks for this pose. We're going to do one prep pose for it, and it's called fire log with a twist option. So sitting on our bottoms, positioning our feet, aiming to line up our knees and feet, which are flexed on top of one another. You can sneak a block underneath your thigh if you can't get your, your knee to line up with your feet and there's a gap. You're welcome to take that on either side. Begin with the uh, fingertips tented, spine comes long. Breathe. If you wish to advance in this pose to a twist, return the hands to heart center if we've been already twisting in this sequence. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring your left elbow outside the sole of the left foot. Taking the twist, leaving hands at heart center, breathe. Release back through center, tent the fingertips, switch sides. So now repositioning in each side of the body can be different, feel different. You might need to snake a block underneath the right thigh. Sitting here for a moment with the fingertips tented. And then when you're ready, you can bring your hands to heart center and exhale to the twist. If you took that on the other side, This is a great prep pose for side crow, for grasshopper, for flying pigeon. Really good for all those things. Okay, release. So if you wish to take flying lotus, you're gonna um, aim to interlace your legs so that your feet come up on top of one another. And so my left foot is higher than my right. Sometimes I forget which foot I'm doing because you'll want to take this on both sides. So I'm going to show you without the blocks and then I'm going to show you with the blocks. So if you wish to take this without the blocks, you're going to root your, that root chakra, your sits bones to the earth. You're going to plant the palms, suctioning up on the fingertips extending the arms long, pushing yourself off the earth, off the earth, off the mat, using your shoulders, firing up the core. So if you're ready to do that, you'll take that here. Hovering yourself off the mat. If you wish to take it with blocks, you simply place the blocks outside the thighs, take a moment, you give yourself a chance to rest, or you may be just doing this with blocks. So position them close by, root the palms evenly on your block, take a moment, breathe. And you'll find you'll get more height this way. You might rock. So release. And then I'm going to certainly release my feet. Maybe you come to a staff pose for a moment and then try and take this on the other side. And I'm just going to do this once for the sake of time with my feet repositioned and show you again without the blocks. So a slight lean forward, root down, press the mat away. And push yourself up. You're welcome to keep practicing that with blocks. We'll release ourselves back through the center of the mat. Just gonna move my blocks out of the way and I'll meet you on your back. Bringing the knees towards the chest. Plant the arms like a T or cactus the arms, plant the feet. We're gonna take one round of bridge pose. So now let's slide the arms outside the thighs, palms face down. Feet are hips distance apart, root through the three corners of each foot. Take an inhale to prepare. As you exhale, bridge pose. Peel your heart space up. 
Offer your hard space to the back of the mat. Squeeze glutes and thighs. Root those feet. Interlace the hands under the back when you're ready. You come up on the balls of the shoulders. Breathe. Imagine a block between the thighs. Maybe you pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower the way you came in. Take a moment, maybe the knees knock to center. Then reposition your feet. Re-tee the arms where we were before. We'll lift our hips, sink them to the left, lower down, breathe in. And as we exhale, we'll come to a supine twist, allowing the knees to stack and drop to the right with the toes. Staying here, maybe you gaze over the left shoulder. You're welcome to straighten the top leg. For an IT band stretch. We'll make our way back to center when you're ready. Stay as long as you need to. Reposition back towards taking a bridge, but we lift our hips up, shift them over to my right, and then release for our supine twist. As I gaze over the right shoulder and start to move to straighten the top leg, since I took that on my other side. Coming back to the Ujjayi breath. Make your way to center. Take any last posture you need to complete your practice. Maybe that's a Supta Baddha Konasana, which is what I'm going to take. Soles of the feet touch, knees come wide. I'm going to bring one hand to my belly, one to the heart. Pausing here, feeling this counter stretch. Maybe you're in a happy baby, plow pose, shoulder stand, early Shavasana. One more cycle of breath. And then we reach the arms to the knees, closing the knees like a book, bringing them to the chest, reaching the feet to the bottom, your hands to the bottom of your feet. Bring the nose towards your knees. Use every muscle. Seal this gift. Three, two, and one. Let it go to your mat, into our sweet Shavasana taking this moment, this time for you. Splay out the heels and toes. Release the shins, your knees, the thighs. Root the hip points to the mat. Release the core and chest. Shoulders, roll them to the mat, to the back. Release the forearms. Palms are open to receive. And release the face. Your chin, cheeks, eyes, brow, and the sweet top of your head. Notice the support that is under you, around you, and within you. Shavasana. touch each finger to your thumb and slowly begin to draw your toes to touch and reach the arms above your head to take a good morning wake up stretch inhale through your nose send the breath as if to your toes and as you exhale slowly begin to bring your knees towards your chest 
and softly rock from side to side. And then make your way over to your right side using your right arm as a pillow and pause here on the mat. Pause to thank yourself for coming to the mat, to thank your body for what it just did for you during your practice. Growth is intentional. Energy flows where intention goes. Start your day by setting an intention and you become the author of your life. When you're ready, slowly press your way up to an easy seat. Joining me at the top of our mat, we'll bring our hands to heart center. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale the thumb to third eye center. Center of intuition. Exhale, bow forward. The light in me honors the light, the beauty in this practice and the yogis have joined. For I'm so forever grateful. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining for this practice. If you like the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and hope you'll subscribe to our channel and the bi-monthly newsletter, The Wellbeing Elixir. And stay tuned for next week, we'll be covering the letter J in the Wellbeing series from A to Z. Namaste.